Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday evening Earthmaster here, about 9.42 p.m. California time, September 18, 2024. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.7 on the Big Island of Hawaii, where they're still seeing a uh, eruption there across the Middle East Rift Zone here for about two days now. Notice uh, some activity stirring up in the Gulf of California as well, right around the Baja California area, 3.8 coming in to the area. Southern California lighting up slightly out here, mainly across the Pacific side of the plate boundary. You can follow a trail of earthquakes around the Malibu area all the way down here along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Nothing major going on here yet. Uh, 2.5 map and above removes all of the earthquakes. Uh, really not seeing any major swarm aside from a little segment here. And this isn't even a major swarm around the Salton Sea area. A couple ones coming in earlier uh, this afternoon. Uh, so continuing to keep an eye there on things in Southern California. Just really nothing of any major activity for now. Uh, some minimal movement there around the Long Valley Super Volcano. Northern California pretty quiet. Notice way up north here we had another 4.2 into the... Uh, Queen Charlotte Sound area. This is kind of interesting because uh, over the last 24 hours, let me show you guys the last day here. Uh, the majority of the trimmer activity has been confined here at the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, and more so at the extreme end. We really haven't seen a lot of trimmer activity here recently in this area. And uh, it's starting to stir up a little bit here following all this earthquake activity. Uh, that we witness here across the northern end of the Cascadia. So things may be starting to uh, um, subduct underneath the northern segment of the subduction zone. We'll definitely have to keep an eye on it. Uh, further out and about here across the area, really nothing major going on as far as anything uh, significant goes. Mainly smaller earthquake activity across the Utah area up into Wyoming. And there's the earthquake activity across the oil fields and a small amount of movement out here across the New Madrid seismic zone. But aside from that, uh, generally quiet conditions out here across the eastern portion of the country. As far as anything new goes, it uh, looks like we've got a 4.5 out here across the Indonesia Islands area. Earthquake 3D globe here shows the uh, last 24 hours of earthquake activity out here. Fairly moderate at best. Some deeper movement here across the uh, area of the Indonesia Islands area. There's that 5.1 here off the coast of uh, Japan. Um, nothing showing up here on the USGS side of things here. These are actually a couple earthquakes that are older from earlier today. So there is a, a newer 5.1 stirring up here just on the northern edge of the Japan Trench. A little swarm of activity out here across northern uh, India right around the... Uh, Oh, this almost looks like it's around eastern Afghanistan area or somewhere, somewhere up here in this region of Tahikistan area. Uh, so we got uh, a little bit of stirring up going on. There were some fours and fives. Turkey westward here across the uh, plate boundary seeing a little increase in activity today as well. Threes and fours uh, stirring up out there across the Mediterranean. Nothing going on across the Atlantic Ocean for now. And uh, Alaska, look at this earthquake way up north here. A little four-pointer way into, well, it's a, not quite as far north as it sounds here. Norton Sound area in an odd area, not uh, anywhere near the plate boundary. Really not uh, around any uh, fault system showing up here on the map, but uh, it is an earthquake there. A four-pointer showing up uh, in an area around Norton Sound. There's really not a lot of historical data out here in terms of 4.5 and above so somewhat rare earthquake activity out there uh the area of hawaii let's go check out kilauea volcano here real quick see if we got anything uh to chat about in terms of the eruption activity here there's uh today's imagery showing a little small fissure eruptive fissure here across the middle east rift zone the latest in the ongoing eruption there across that area nothing big you know no, no spectacular eruption but obviously uh, it has broken through here to the surface 
And here's a little overview of where it's positioned. Uh, this activity here started up first, and it looks like it migrated further to the east, uh, northeast area around the Napu uh, crater area, where we're seeing our little tiny fountain and lava, pal uh, lava pond stir up out there. Now, uh, hard to say if this is uh, going to be it in terms of any further escalation let's go ahead and see what we got here for the uh, deformation data the summit area will show us what's going on there obviously at the summit there's not a whole lot going on and the tilt meters out here across the area hard, hard to uh hard to find one that's within this area of our ongoing eruption the nearest one i guess is over here and then we got one um, a little bit closer to the lower east rift zone which uh, really not showing anything of significance there's a huge drop here i'm assuming that's when the eruption began here a couple days back uh, volume of magma was lost and now we're starting to go back up so um it's, it's a lot different out here in the big island compared to iceland where we got a magma chamber below a huge magma chamber uh, which, which uh, you know, <laughs> provides a much more spectacular eruption compared to Kilauea Volcano. But right now, just a little minimal uh, activity out there. Really nothing of any significance, but we'll continue to watch that. As uh, far as space weather activity goes, it uh, looks like a little bit of uh, unforecasted KP index here around the four range here, ramping up the auroras in the last couple hours. This was not really forecasted here. Could be some residual plasma that was shut off from the X flare here a few days ago. Really nothing major going on in the flare department. 10% uh, chance for X flare. That's about it. And if you look at the complexity of these sunspots here, they're uh, diminishing. Really not a whole lot of uh, complexity within those uh, sunspot cores. All right, so let's look at the uh, hurricane potential here as we head into next week, right? Everyone talking about the Florida hurricane. Well, that has positioned uh, much further uh, to the west in a bad scenario. We're talking about a major hurricane, maybe four, category four or stronger here, right off the Louisiana area. This is following a, uh, a very interesting path here. We're going to have to watch this closely. If, uh, as you've been watching this, most of the weather models here have forecasted some type of tropical development here in the Gulf of Mexico. And this is forecasted around next weekend or so. Uh, it's a ways out here, right? The 20, 27th, so just under 10 days. There's a little uncertainty, but right now the forecast is zeroing in on a major hurricane hitting the Louisiana area around, around the New Orleans area. So we're going to have to watch that pretty closely. Again, it's a ways out. Can't take that, you know, 100% as far as the forecast goes. But we'll check back on that over the next couple days. Uh, seismograph station is pretty quiet out there for now, folks. So have a good night. Uh, I'm out of here. Just going to keep this a quick, short update. Nothing major going on, but uh, we'll see what happens by morning time. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Thursday morning update. Take care, folks, and stay safe. Have a good night.